Alrighty, folks, find your desktop calendar. Take that out. You will also need your highlighters and at least one pencil. This is really a team, family based activity. Something I like to do during the weekly check in. If you haven't read, open that file yet, please do. I use weekly check-in kind of synonymously with family meeting, but for a whole lot of reasons, I don't call it the family meeting. Anyway, whole different deal, but this is one of the things, the desktop calendar that I like to bring to the family meeting, simply because this tool, this very simple tool, becomes the heart of Command Central, which is your home. During the middle school years, schedules are just going crazy. You never know when another soccer practice is going to pop up, when there's going to be a band concert, when they're going to need to do a game over the course of the weekend, when your family's going to be traveling. All kinds of things are popping up onto the schedule. You need a central location to keep everything in order, and that is the desktop calendar. So you get to the weekly meeting, sit down, give everybody a pencil, give everybody an opportunity to add to the calendar. I'm talking about things like swim team or soccer practice or ballet, anything that's going to happen over the span of the next two weeks. I focus on that two week time period because really pushing it beyond that is kind of like, I have no idea when that's going to happen in the middle schooler's mind. It just seems so far off in the future that, you know, two weeks is probably enough time to be thinking ahead. Now, that being said, if there's a major trip planned three, four weeks out, please add it. It gives everybody something to look forward to. So very simple the way this works. Take a pencil, simply add the activities, chronological order throughout the day. I like to put the time of the day, the time range of the activity. In this case, 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. swim team practice. That is early in the day, but that goes at the top. And then as we get into the after school hours, again, putting things in chronological order, I put the time range, I put the activity, and then an initial for the person who's actually taking part of that. Uh, you will see here also that I've included the weekly check-in. Didn't highlight that. That's an all family activity. Uh, soccer games, uh, ballet recitals, anything that's happening on weekends, you add that in there as well. Uh, big projects, things that are not going to show up on the agenda, the homework planner at school because they're in the future. Go ahead and add those in as well. I use the highlighters just to give me a quick, quick glimpse at who was really loaded down with activity and also really a good idea too for the kids to be able to see, ooh, you know, it looks like I'm getting busy or this could be a relatively light week. Now, one caution with the highlighters. As soon as you highlight on, then it kind of defeats the purpose of writing in pencil, which is that you could erase and move things around. So use the highlighters if you like the color coding, number one, but number two, if you feel like the activities are fairly permanent with respect to the day and time. Okay? I definitely advocate using the pencil because it's so much easier then to quickly erase and move things around. If you feel like some of these activities are going to be changing days and times, then you may not want to use the highlighter. You could, of course, go to a small sticky note, and that would do the same thing. They have the color-coded ones. So the idea, though, behind this, again, uh, bringing everybody together, adding the activities of the family, this then gets posted somewhere around the home in a central location that everybody has access to. That way you can add to it erase from it. It becomes the responsibility of the person who is participating in the activity to add or delete. This isn't the responsibility of one person, mom or dad, to take on all of the planning and all of the scheduling. Not your responsibility. This is a family, family tool to use. So make it that way by posting it in the central location and then bringing it to the weekly check-in. That is the desktop calendar. Have fun with it. It's a great way to bring everybody together, and I will see you in the next activity.